prepare to be impressed by the onward march of sorcery. What's up, everybody? It's Big Hat Logan here. Uh, I wanted to discuss and talk about uh, the state of Wiz and uh, mostly like how I how like things that I would want in Wiz and stuff like that. I feel like the events are they're too short. Like the the Cantalon event is only a week, and Beast Moon and all the other the, the Beast Moon content and stuff like that, it's just a week long housing event. I think I, I forget what it's called, and the uh, spiral scene, uh, the one where you like rate your stitches and stuff like that. Like all those types of events, not Beast Moon, not Beast Moon by the way. Uh, I feel like those should be the the week long, but I feel like the Cantalon. And like Beast Moon Mayhem should be like damn near like per like permanent. You know what I mean? I feel like I really feel like it should be permanent. I don't know. I just feel like a week for Beast Moon Mayhem is like it just seems weird how such a good game mode and people who actually play your game mode, not even for the spell elements or anything like that. Like I don't even play it for the spell elements. I just play it. Cause I like it, cause it's like you know team deathmatch type of type of thing or like domination from Call of Duty, but it's like Wiz style of combat. So it's like you know it's it's really cool and it's the only like I feel like combat in PvP or PVE, which one the Beast Moon Hunt or the Mayhem. I feel like those are the ones where I actually can engage with other people and talk to them and come up with strategies, kind of like the raid. And I just feel like it should always be here. Like, it's in the arena. It has its own, like, little kiosk or whatever, in like, area in the arena. I feel like it should just always be there, and you choose which one you want. You want Beast Moon Hunt, or you want Beast Moon Mayhem. Like, you just choose which game mode you want to play in. It should always be there. I don't know why it's an event, and I don't know, I don't know why it's only w one week. Same thing with Decathlon. I feel like Decathlon should be, like, a month or two months or whatever, however, however you want to scale it, KI, K, 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 and and the only thing that changes, like it never goes down. The only thing that changes is the type of theme it is. So right now it's the fire decathlon. Let's say a month from now it stays the fire decathlon, but then it just switches to the ice decathlon, and then it just a month later it switches to the myth decathlon. Like you know what I mean? Like these game modes should always be here. It really should. Uh, I don't know why they're they're here for such uh, short periods of the time, when lots of people love to play them, for the gauntlets, for the spell elements or whatever, or just to play them in general. Like people like love loads of people play them just for fun. Another thing I want to bring up is uh, the membership that we have. The game up to like maybe like the latest world right the latest world should be uh like not the test realm version it should just be it should be locked by membership so like let's say lemuria was the latest the the oldest the, the the latest world that was added and then Lem uh novus got added if you don't have membership because the game is free then if you don't have membership you cannot play novus for a certain time period unless you buy membership it's kind of like early access you, you get early access to the world if you have membership not from test realm but from the actual launcher itself you get early access and you can play it early but if you don't have membership then you have to wait a certain time period in order to play it can make it two months you can make it three months that way people who have membership on the live launcher can actually you know they benefit from getting that uh that membership right they can they can brag about bragging rights they can beat the the game they can help people and farm and all these other things teach people where things are it's i feel like i feel like if they do that like that would bring a lot of people in i feel like this year for for like their birthday adding the free membership has really opened a lot of people's eyes and seeing like they really want to quest they really want to get to the end game but it's only two weeks of membership, so it's like they don't have. That's not enough time. That's not enough. I feel like that's not enough sample time, even though they've done this before, 
and they probably do have sample time they, it's probably not enough to get from like two weeks is probably enough to get from like level one to level like 40 right on a on a time budget you, you only get to play like three hours a day that's probably enough time to get from uh level one to like an in-game mushu early dragon spire it depending on what school you are right but they don't they they should they should they should do it more if if not make the game free which i think that they should do they should make they do more for membership giveaways and not for like no two weeks for like a month do it for a month like out of the year i feel like four times out of the year like each quarter like investment quarter like uh you should do it like once a month january february march like do it in march and then next three months do it there and then next three months do it there i it doesn't have to be so short of a period especially when you have the data that shows that people actually play your game when you have free membership now let's talk about pvp now i don't do much pvp even though like you're gonna see my record it's pretty darn bad but uh I did do a, f a lot of PvP, but I'm not very good at it, okay? Uh, just because I don't like the the whole Rochambeau thing. Like, the I'm not very uh, keen to it, you know? Um, but I've been finding a lot of, like, love and passion towards not 1v1s, but Team PvP. And I don't know why Team PvP gets shunned the way it does, but I really feel like that they really need to look into Team PvP and somehow make the Rochambeaus uh, follow Team PvP. Like, more interaction. Like, I should be able to take an overtime off my teammate with this and then put a weakness on a specific target that I want. Like, things like that. Like, you, you might have to click twice, but th to me, that's more engaging. Uh, there instead of it just being just you onto the target you want or whatever you know what I mean like I feel like they should work that into the thing like something like the Sultan where you have to like select twice and then confirm like they can code that into the game for specific Rochambeaus or they can make new new team PvP specific Rochambeaus that everybody want to use do they do that I don't know uh, I really feel like they should look into team PvP because I find it very fun and uh, I always come into the arena and just go into practices and just like look for a team PvP match. Like I'm gonna do it right now, actually. Nobody's in this room because I'm by myself. Yeah, like there's a few people who want to do a, a, a match and I'm low key down to join them. But you see, t team PvP doesn't get much love as 1v1s, even though I think 1v1s are like. Even though I think team PvP is more skillful than 1v1s if 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 set up properly, honestly. Uh, also with tournaments as well. Why hasn't tournaments been fixed? Why hasn't tournaments been fixed? Why don't we get like the these reagents from uh, the, the 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 arenas? These uh, where are they at? <laughs> These medals, like, why not get the give us the medals from the from the uh, from the uh, from the, the tournaments? You know, some of these robes and gears that you have here, like the burr stuff. Like, we we all know that the burr stuff at max at max level is broken, right? We all know it, but yet it's uh, you know, it's it's locked behind you know myth medals, which is like. Which is like specifically captain, right? I think you have to be captain to get it. So I have to be a certain rank in order to get the best gear in the game to get the rank. You know what I mean? It's kind of like everyone already has it. So I, I don't know why we're locking it behind a specific rank. Uh, same thing with Solar Surge. You kind of have the, like the backwards thing in Solar Surge. Where you had to be a certain rank to get Solar Surge in order to rank up. Like it was weird. It was weird. Um, yeah, Beastman should be free, guys. Beastman should always be here, active. I don't know why it's not. It's such a shame. It's in the arena. Like, imagine if PvP, the uh, PvP arena was time-based. Imagine! 
imagine imagine if a re this one was time based everybody would be fuming but yeah that's that's like my video hope you enjoyed uh and yeah bye bye <laughs>